Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. In this edition, I explore a Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer 264 RLS, a very nice uh, mid-range uh, fifth wheel. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is 9,350 pounds. The exterior length overall is 32 feet 7 inches. And this unit apparently can sleep up to six people. I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter. They are very, very nice folks down there. And if you have the time, go check them out. Up front is a pin box, and uh, it's a basic pin box. I would upgrade it if you have the cash. Why not? Just upgrade it. And there's a strong arm stabilizing system. They give you a little bit of extra support, uh, especially for those stabilizers. Let me go around the other side, and you can see one of the propane tanks. You get a 20-pound propane tank on each side. It keeps everything nicely balanced. Right next to it is a pass-through storage, modest pass-through storage. Some of these fifth wheels have ginormous <laughs> pass-through storage. This has a uh, good pass-through storage. Not gigantic, just good. Behind uh, door number one is the utility center where you have, uh, where you can, you know, clean out your black tanks, also a fresh water connection, and your various dumps, et cetera, et cetera, and also an area there where you can have an outdoor shower. Immediately to the right is the uh, hot water heater. On this slide, you get a Schwintec uh, mechanism. On the next slide, a but bit more powerful uh, cable uh, mechanism. This is a good size slide here. And in the back there, you get the 50 amp uh, hook up there. So that's where you put your 50 amp cable. This unit has two, count them, two air conditioners. Let me back up. You can see the ladder to the roof. I definitely like the uh, paint scheme, especially the framing, the gray framing of the slides. That's uh, pretty classy. Now we're on the roof. You, get, you can see the two uh, Dometic Evolution uh, air conditioners and there's plenty of room. Plenty, plenty of room for some solar panels. Again, let's go around the other side and take a peek at the uh, outdoor kitchen. I do love me some outdoor kitchens. If you have any questions about this unit, contact your local uh, open range dealer or the folks here at Explore USA RV Super Center. They are the nicest people in the known universe. Uh, it's well known and it's verified. So it's time for chow. You can cook on this little griddle, uh, some pancakes, um, grill some vegetables. My wife's a vegetarian, so she would grill some vegetables. And uh, you get a nice little refrigerator right there. Our vision, not your vision, our vision. And you get two little areas there, little cubbies with netting that you can put some odds and ends. And you get a little plastic sink, very nice. And you get some receptacles immediately to the right in the light switch. As we go to the right, you can see the uh, Lippert uh, solid steps. Very nice steps indeed. They keep uh, reduce the amount of jounce and bounce as you go in and out of your fifth wheel. By the way, I'm not getting uh, any cash from the folks at uh, Explore USA RV Supercenter. Uh, it would be nice if they did give me some cash, but they never do. They just say, Jesus, hello, Jesus, goodbye. And that's about it. Here's a view of the uh, side of the unit, and that's the pass-through storage, the other propane bottle, etc., etc., and the exhaust for the heater to the left. There's a 50 amp cable. It's a substantial cable. It's pretty heavy. And there you get a light and some uh, items there, and a lot of uh, you know pipes and vents and stuff like that. Again, there's a tight shot of that second uh, propane tank. And you get slam latches on both sides of this uh, pass-through storage. That's always appreciated. Just slam that door and say, adios muchachos. I'm done. So let's go inside this unit and uh, take a peek at the tires first. These aren't uh, Michelins. These aren't Goodyear's. These are Rainier ST23580 16s. Very nice. There's a control center for the tanks, etc., etc. Turn off your lights and various functions. 
And there's another panel to the right uh, in the hallway that controls a lot of functionality. There's your controls for the air conditioning for the, uh, you know, Max or fan, etc. And there's a backsplash. Here's a view from the door to the, you know, the lounge area. And to the left, you get a nice little wooden table, a couple chairs, a great spot to have snacks, have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Good enough for two people. Uh, I wonder if they have two extra chairs for the rest of the folks that might be visiting. I consider this a couple's camper. You may consider it different. Maybe it's good enough for the family. There's a TV. And there's the fireplace and the Furion. Furion uh, two-zone sound bar. It's a very nice sound bar. It has nice functions right there. And there you get that uh, space heater slash fireplace. A nice decorative fissure. Then you open up this uh, door or TV. And right behind it, they have some storage quite a bit of storage in fact goes to a back about two feet at least and I could do this uh, opening and closing the TV with one hand if I can do it you can do it too more storage back here that goes back about a foot let's take a peek at the furniture it's uh, rather classically designed nothing too ostentatious no weird little patterns nothing unusual about it you get end tables on both sides one on each side and you get some storage up there and you can see the AC unit. Again, this unit has two AC units. Nice balances, nice simple design balances. Again, this is an affordable option for a lot of people, unless you want to spend twice as much and get a lot more stuff. There it is, that storage goes all the way from left to right. And they have little windows there so you can take a peek and see what's going on inside there if something's moving. And you go, what's that? And you can put whatever you want back there. You might need a ladder for you smaller folk, and some of your taller folks say, hey, no problem at all. This has uh, blinds, one set of blinds, not two sets of blinds, just one set of blinds. And it has a little, little dangling little doodad there, which is nice, I like that. And there's the easy chairs, the Chinese made Thomas Paine easy chairs. Uh, they have the little uh, on the arms, uh, little areas where you can put a little table. I'm not a big fan of those tables. In some units, they just got rid of that and said, uh, Adios, we're not going to use that anymore. Goodbye, good riddance. But these can relax. you can relax in these and uh, enjoy the big screen TV. Some storage up there. And you got a little bit of a larder, uh, dry goods storage to the right there. And you have an island, an island uh, kitchen. Uh, stay space there so you can put some stuff in there and there's plenty of room uh, to put stuff in the kitchen you won't be lacking for room for stuff in this area you get a lighter wood a painted wood as compared to the darker woods in the other area this is a sponge drawer uh, these drawers are very nice uh, solid wood door fronts uh, plywood box construction all metal glides uh, no soft clothes though, but it's very nice quality. They even sanded it right there to make sure you don't get any uh, splinters. That's very kind. So you get the white wood, you know, painted wood, and the uh, old rub bronze looking hardware. Some of the newer units uh, have these very nice uh, residential quality uh, four burner cooktops. This one does not. This has a, a more mundane three burner cooktop, but it does have the you know, cast iron grates. Again, this is a mid-range unit. This isn't a $150,000 unit, okay? This is a mid-range uh, fifth wheel. It, it works perfectly for me. I would be very happy with it myself if I had a truck that could tow this little beast. Nice backsplash, and this is your microwave. I think, I don't know, I didn't check the specs. This might even be a convection microwave. Again, this is a question for your dealership the salesman, and he'll be more than happy to sell you one of these right now at full retail. Uh, you'll have to <laughs> you'll have to struggle to get a deal on this. These are nice. I like it. Uh, they just got these in. I've never seen a roamer on the lot before, and they finally said, hey, we got some. We, we sold all of them. We got rid of them all, and people want them, so we got to order more. So they had this one on the lot, and I said, hey, let's take some video of it. So you got some storage. You got stacked storage here, not just one section of storage you get two sections so you can have you know it's better use of the space 
Very nice. And what do you think of the paint job on these uh, cabinets? And what do you think of the drawer pulls and the handles, etc., and the hidden hinges? Do you like it? I like it. Now, this was a shocker. This is the first time I've seen this unit. The Furion 14 cubic foot four door AC alternating current refrigerator with built in wine cellar compartment. Wow, it even has a glass door, four different doors. I wonder if each section has its own uh, thermostat. That'd be nice. So these little drawers plop out. You can have one section for uh, vegetables, another section for fruits, another section for uh, wine if you want, or some other items. This didn't have anything on that side, just closed up. There was nothing on that door, nothing on that door either. But inside you get plenty of storage. Only the top right door has uh, you know, storage in the door. This has glass. And this is supposed to be the wine area where you can, they could have put glass shelves or metal shelves, but they decided to do something a little different, a bamboo shelf. Since these uh, refrigerators are made in China, they might as well put the bamboo in there. There's plenty of bamboo in China. And on this door, uh, you get some shelving. You can put your ketchup and stuff like that. They do not recommend putting milk in the door, uh, as my refrigerator manufacturer said. Uh, you're supposed to put it inside. So you can put some juices here, some of your condiments, odds and ends. Now what do you think of the finish on the outside? That glass door, those wood drawers. Oh, those are very interesting shelves, for sure. And again, the only question I would have is, uh, does each area have its own thermostat? So you can change the temperature in each area. That would be nice. Here's a larder, as my wife would call it, or I would call it dry storage for the food. It has a nice lip to it, so it won't fly out while you're driving down the road, hitting that little bump. So it has plenty of room for your Wheaties, your Post Toasties, your Cocoa Puffs, your Captain Crunch, <laughs> your uh, oatmeal uh, for you healthier folks, and of course, uh, whatever canned and packaged goods. You can stick it in there. If you haven't noticed, the island, the kitchen island, is a different uh, tonal range as compared to the uh, rest of the kitchen. Instead of being light painted wood, this is the uh, stained wood. I couldn't open it from this side. I have to open it from the other side like a dummy. There's some storage under the sink here. Plenty of storage in this unit. And there's a pop-down drawer and some nice drawers here. Again, solid wood door fronts, uh, plywood box construction, all metal glides. And, and this is well built, not some cheap wobbly little drawers. These are good drawers. I open it from this side, no problem. And there's a garbage pail. I would recommend getting one with a cover so you don't uh, have all the stink passing uh, uh, from left to right and around this uh, kitchen area. Just saying. So this unit has no carpet uh, inside this area here. It has this little vinyl product, which is nice. I like it. And so there's less chance of uh, having any issues with something getting uh, dirty and you have to do vacuuming. Up on top is a light feature. And it's a very simple light fixture and I like it quite a bit. If you went into a unit that was twice as expensive, they would put something super fantastic, outrageous and stylistic. There's some of your controls and to the left here in the hall, there's a, a control panel. I don't know how it works. That's a question for your dealership or the manufacturer. Give them a buzz, okay? We're now in the bedroom and of course that bed uh, looks like the head, uh, you can adjust it. And there's the big screen TV. I always appreciate a big screen TV, especially on those cold, lonely nights uh, in the RV campground. As you've already noticed, the color scheme here is a little bit darker, very nice. Pass through uh, storage right above the bed goes all the way across. You have three ways to access it. And that window in front has a rather rudimentary uh, blind that covers it. Nothing too fantastic. Yeah, receptacles on both sides, USB and alternating current and a little uh, table. Good size table, not a small table, a good size table where you can rest your beverages or your CPAP machine or whatever you want. Uh, your in charge stuff and leave it right up there. You get two drawers and again high quality drawers. I've opened enough RVs to figure out what's a good drawer and these are good drawers and I assume there's even storage underneath the bed. I didn't open it up because I was starting to get lazy. I apologize. So you get two drawers right there and you get the receptacles right there and you get the blinds on the right side. I opened up this blind to get some more light 
inside this little area. Uh, yeah, yeah. Better late than never, huh? Again, another shot of that wonderful TV. And there's the Dometic uh, thermostat for the air conditioner and the heater. So in the reflection there, you can see me with my little uh, $80 YouTube uh, action camera and $80 gimbal. And uh, there's a closet, a nice little closet, don't you think? And you get a closet on each side and some, and a super, super large drawer right under it. I'm, I'm going to show you right now. This is a super large drawer. Oh, look at that. That goes down quite a ways. Must go like a good almost a foot. So a foot by 18 inches by... And that's good storage. So you can put some significant items down there. And here's the other closet. And both of them, have, of course, have mirrors so you can check yourself out in the morning. Make sure you look absolutely fabulous. I'm going out camping today. I have to go for a long hike. And I have to look absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I used to live in L.A., so I got all these terms like fabulous. <laughs> yes, that's how it is in L.A. People are very pretentious down there especially if they're involved in the uh, film industry. I have some friends who work in the film industry down there. Oscar winners, Emmy Award winners. Let me open this up and that's some nice storage for your linens, your towels, whatever you want, you can put it there and it has a towel ring. And of course, uh, down here is a plastic sink and this is a thermofoil uh, countertop and uh, basic, basic uh, fixtures there. And of course, uh, alternating current, you know, GFCI plug on the right. This is a perfect spot to uh, hide your chemicals that you're going to use to uh, for the black tank. Keep them sequestered away from everything else, uh, your personal grooming items. And there's a shower. Again, a good size shower, not a great size shower, not a ginormous shower. This is a good size shower. This is perfect for most individuals. If you want something fancy, again, you could spend twice as much. This is an area there for your, I think, for your uh, washer and dryer. I didn't double check to make sure, but I assume because of the slats that it was for that. Or you can use it for storage. It's your choice. There's some of your controls for the light, your max air fan, and some uh, alternating current uh, receptacles. So you're set. Again, this has the max air fans. I like those max air fans. See? They uh, push a lot of air. And there it is. Here's a shot talking about the Max Air fan. There it is. It's a nice, nice fan. Uh, Fantastic and the Max Air are both excellent fans. But what do you think? Do you like those fans? Or would you like a little puny fan in there and say, hey, that's good enough for me? So let's go in the lounge slash kitchen area and uh, take a peek. I forgot to show you the countertops. I'm going to go into more detail with the countertops. I'm feeling them and loving them and I'm going this is nice countertops a nice good size stainless steel sink and they have that little area to the right where you can uh, put your dishes to dry them again thick super thick uh, solid surface countertops in some areas they went all out like the refrigerator and this countertop and uh, I like the classic design of the furniture it works for me I don't need a lot of stuff I don't need to be overly pretentious, as you can tell from looking at me. And this is the perfect TV watching position. I really like these chairs. Of course, I wasn't plugged into shore power and I couldn't play with everything. And uh, let me just see if I can close this. Slam, slam, slam. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at slamming stuff, my wife says. <laughs> so I like these chairs. They work for me. I'm an average sized person. Again, I'm 5'10", 175 pounds. And believe it or not, I actually lost a few pounds during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so here I am on the small sofa. It's good for like two people, maybe three very friendly folks, um, maybe two large folks only. And this, I did not understand this little contrivance at the end of the table. Apparently it'll do something, maybe it makes it into a somewhat of a lounge chair. I don't know. I opened up the window because I could, and there I am at the dining room table. I didn't knock my knees into anything. I've been into more expensive units and I knocked my knees into the stand for the table. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments 
below the description. And don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications of my videos like this one on the 2021 Highland Ridge Open Range Roamer 264 RLS. What did you think about my uh, little review here? It's a little walkthrough, nothing too intense. Maybe next time I will uh, find one that's actually plugged in so it has better illumination inside. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.